All right, fellas, today we're gonna try to pull off the five species inshore slam, which is speckled trout, flounder, uh, redfish, black drum, and sheep's head. Mm -hmm. What should we use here? The old brown shrimp, I think, is what we need here. Well, that's what we need. Brown shrimp. All right. There's got to be a couple of fish here. DOA shrimp. Scrimp. Heavy morning of skunking so far. Ooh, what's that? Redfish? Wow, 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 wow. Damn. It's a real trout. <laughs> Damn. Brown deal of shrimp. The flavor of the day. Nice one. I don't do much of that trout stuff, but man, that's a little fatty patty. So we're gonna put this fish back. Let's see if we can do that again. Duplicate the success. Good start. Thought that was gonna be a flounder or a redfish, honestly. Yeah, boy. Look at that, big. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. Those are some nice trout, man. Nice trout. I've always been a structure guy. Gosh. Am I going to pull a hook on this thing? Run them out of here super green, so... These are some much larger trout than I'm used to catching around here. That's another nice one, man. They're half trout. Fat. Probably full of eggs, too. I feel like I'm uh, happy with the size of these trout. And that's the lower reason. Quarter, that's a quarter ounce DOA. Um, uh, what is this? DOA shrimp and just a quarter ounce. Um, uh, Z-Man, I had it. You need extra weight because we're fishing like seven, eight feet of water. I'm having a hard time uh, catching some fish here, man. It's not easy right now. I'm trying to catch a couple more uh, trout and reds and all that stuff, and we're just getting the, getting boned. All right, let's try something different then. That's not working anymore. Trying to find these sheeps. Man, this is tough fishing here. What is that? Wow. Uh, you don't catch too many of these inside like that size. I guess you could say that's my bonus fish. Um, these guys I like. Speckled trout aren't bad, but these guys. Uh, these are my one of my preferred uh, Carolina fish right there. Uh, he ate a half a mud crab right there on the edge of that piling, so 
Let's see if we get a couple more of those. All right, so uh, this is actually a different species of whiting than the, gosh, there's so many of these drum family critters. This is another species in that family. Um, the one I was catching with Meg had the silver color and the black spot. I don't know, they're all tasty. They all grow into to about two pounds. Of all the drum, black drum, red drum, croaker, I think those uh, whitings were kingfish. Seems to just have the best flavor, in my opinion. Oh yeah. That took a minute and change, but there we go. All right, we're on sheep's head. Two nice trout and a sea mullet, so that's not too bad. See what else we can catch here. All right, so this is a new cooler bag I got. I think I want them with something a little smaller than the other one I was using. I think this is gonna be uh, also just something that takes up a little bit less space. So I released those trout because, um, first of all, I think those might have been spawning fish. It's possible they were. And second of all, um, trout that size seem to be a little tougher to come by around here. So um, I try not to keep those bigger ones. Um, they tend to produce a lot more offspring. They don't live that long, I get it, but one thing, I'm not that crazy about how well this bag holds ice. I think my old bag definitely did a better job. It's hard to figure out the right system on a kayak, I'm not gonna lie, for, you know, keeping fish and keeping fish cold, especially in these summer days. Can't use a stringer here. Um, you'll regret that. All right, so a mud crab like this, right? That's a, I wouldn't call it a monster, that's, but that's a, like a jumbo one. I'm gonna cut this guy in half. All right. So I haven't found like any pile of life. All I'm doing is getting one fish here, one fish there, and then nothing. Could hit. Oh yeah. How can I forget you? How can I forget about you, my friend? Meg is showing so much interest in the kayak fishing. I'm waiting to get her on a, a kayak with me. Um, and I was telling her, it's like, I can't wait till you catch your first oyster toadfish. It's basically the gist of our conversation. Nastiest, stinkiest, most vile creature we have, that's for sure. Wow. Not too surprised there. He's got to go back. Keeper, but I'm all right. I got my sheep's head and my my whiting, so playing around here. Puppy drum. All right, so we've been working this for a couple of hours. Just a couple of black drum that are average, one like 16 inch flounder and uh, one sheep's head, and those two nice trout. So it's very uh very average kind of fishing. I don't know what to make for my next move here. Good fish. Let's see what that is. Oh, oh. Studge. Oh. oh yeah. Look at that sheep's head, huh? Six, seven pound fish. It's a good one. We're gonna put him back though. I got, a, I got enough for the for the table, so. All right, I'll tell you about my day a little bit. We had two nice trout early, one flounder. Flounder season's closed, so I don't want to really just go out there and, you know, actually, I'll tell you the truth. I was throwing enough jigs today. I'm surprised I didn't see a couple more flounder. But maybe when the tide was slower, as opposed to fishing crabs, I should have been fishing jigs a little more. The initial plan for today was to fish these guys, fish bites, sand fleas. I was gonna make, you know, my not clickbait video, but I was gonna make a video uh, seeing if they'd work for sheep's head, because that is a good sheep's head spot. Piers are always good for sheeps. I didn't get a bite on them. 
<laughs> I didn't get a bite. So, uh, water's cleared up a little bit. We got like two feet of visibility. We always have like that, that tannic water. Occasionally we'll get like some blue water up in the bays here. But uh, for the most part, it's like that. It's like the, the sand has a certain color to it. So uh, this would be considered okay visibility here. But uh, from what I understand, the ocean's really dirty. It was really dirty by me yesterday. Uh, we tried a couple things in the ocean. So that's kind of what we've been doing. I need a lot of weight to fish. So those DOA shrimps, I think they weigh a quarter ounce already as is. I beefed it up with another like quarter ounce or three eighths ounce shake head. Um, I tried a couple other lures quick. Uh, you know what it is? I think I had those trout and I could have probably beat on them. I started snagging. As soon as I snagged my first lure, I couldn't find them again. I spooked, spooked that school of them. Those are some nice sized fish too to go with it. So, you know, live and learn. Don't snag, don't snag up if you're on good fish because you'll scare them. And just a couple of sheep. One was real nice. The rest were, you know, kind of average. And uh, yeah, we must have mixed it up a little bit, but we're going to do a little travel fish videos very soon too. So. Uh, as things have improved and uh, we're gonna go visit our family we'll start hitting the road a little bit so so I actually um, released those trout I don't like the trout in the warm water I find they're they get kind of mushy a lot of the etiquette seems to be to try to release some of the larger ones because uh, those tend to be female um, they don't taste as good as the smaller ones uh, it's good to see that attitude taking hold on a lot of different fish striped bass slot regulations there really hasn't been, you know, a lot of people are poo-pooing the slots of Striper, but there hasn't really been a slot limit that's failed besides like one or two very unique cases. So I put back the big sheep's head because I found out how old those fish can be too. Um, some people put back the big tog. In general, those bigger fish tend to be older on a lot of the different you know, species. Check out the video's description and affiliate links for what we used. If you're curious, um, you buy stuff through those links so you support the channel. Uh, it's always appreciated. Let me go home and chill out and we'll try to do another video as soon as possible. So thank you for watching.